first question for Drew Mitchell Forty. Drew, uh, when I, well, I was having a big game like that, and you kind of know Illinois is going to go to him down the stretch, do you relish the opportunity to uh, to, to start out the possession guarding him? Uh, yeah, I did. I think um, I was getting stuck on those ball screens there in the second half. Um, I was having my heels on the three-point line, and I was, just felt like I was getting hit every time. So I asked Coach if I could pick him up a little higher just to give me a better chance to get through some of those. And uh, I was able to do that there towards the end, and um, we were able to get a few big stops there down the stretch. Colin. Drew, in between a layup you hit with like seven and a half minutes to go and then X's floater with like 40 seconds left, you guys didn't have a, a, a basket. Just can, can you feel that in the flow of the game? And then just what does that say about the job you guys are able to do at the foul line tonight? Um, honestly, I didn't. I wouldn't have known that if you didn't say it. Um, but I do think we could we could tell we were reeling a little bit on offense. We were um, we were trying to get the ball in the buck bucket and it just wasn't really happening for us but yeah it makes the foul the foul shots extremely important just being able to step up and knock them down consistently cj hey drew two, two things one one how much does this team feel kind of the disrespect um you know maybe not being in the top 25 yet um preseason 10th pick 10th in the league and then the other thing for you is what do you feel like is kind of unlock the offense for this this group yeah, honestly, we haven't, um, as a team, we haven't really even discussed a ranking or where we were picked. Um, I mean, that's fine if that's where, we're, if we're picked 10th, that's fine. Um, it doesn't really mean too much to us at this point in the year. Um, we know what we have here. We know what we have in the locker room. And um, we've just been looking forward to getting these opportunities to play against good teams. And then I think just unlocking the offense has just been us sharing the ball. I mean, getting everybody involved. I think Kobe and Javon really stepped up big for us tonight. They were able to give us a big surge off Kobe, not off the bench, but Javon definitely off the bench, running the floor and putting pressure on the defense. So I think just really sharing the ball and um, just having guys step up um, every night is what's unlocked the offense the most, I'd say. Mason. Drew, the team did pretty well at the free throw line tonight. Would you say that shooting free throws is easier when the crowd is significantly smaller like it is this year? Um, I, honestly, I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Um, I thought we were a good free throw shooting team last year um, when the season was regular. I don't think it has too much of an effect on it either way. I honestly would rather prefer there be people just because it's not dead silent every time you shoot a free throw. I'd rather you, you're thinking about everything in your head when you're shooting rather than just blocking everything out. So I think, honestly, I don't like it as much. Some people might think it's easier. I think it's just depends on the person. Jack Sobel. Drew, uh, you kind of touched on that last stretch where you guys struggled to score a bit uh, late in the game. Uh, what, what was coach's me message to the team as you guys were trying to not let the lead slip away? Um, I mean, just we just wanted to be poised. I think coach was, coach was obviously finding different ways to get guys in good situations. Um, I thought we were running. We were running good offense. We just weren't. We weren't making shots. Um, had a couple. I know I had a turnover there down the stretch. Um, that was really unforced. So I think just we were struggling to make the right play there for a few minutes. But I think coach did a good job of just keeping us calm, keeping us poised, and making sure that we were taking care of stuff on the defensive end. Dave. Drew, Mark just wasn't himself tonight, and he's he's kind of had these struggles before against Illinois. Did, is any part of you a little bit surprised you guys were able to win when the guy who's been so steady for you this year just, just had an off night like that? No, I don't think so. I think we expect I think we expect guys to step up. We have guys we have guys waiting to come in the game that are they're ready to play. They're looking forward for, to their opportunity. Um, and guys are gonna have off nights. You can't you can't expect honestly, you can't expect Mark to come out and knock down seven, six threes every single night. He's gonna have a couple nights where he's off. So I think just Having that bench, having that depth is something that we definitely pride ourselves on and something that uh, showed up big for us tonight. Last two for uh, Drew Sawichi. Hey, Drew. Uh, Kyle mentioned this too, but just for, for, the, for this team and, and this experience and, and just going forward, how, I know you guys are celebrating the win now, but how, what, at what point do you kind of just flip the page and kind of just look at the rest of the season um, and accomplishing your goals and everything? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's short lived. Like you said, we have a, we have a night to celebrate, a day to, a day to just kind of soak it in. But I mean, it's just right back to it. It's right back to the next game, the next uh, opportunity to get on the floor. We got to take care of business again. Colin. 
Drew, I know this this team has, has sung this the praises of Mitchell Smith before, but just from from a rebounding aspect, from from foul shooting, from the ability to guard one through five against a team that's so good at three point shooting like this, what what did he bring for you guys tonight? And then just overall your your three point defensive performance tonight. Yeah, as coach said, uh, coach said in the locker room after the game, he said Mitch has the heart of a lion. He said, um, but yeah, he just goes out there and he plays. He gives it everything he has. He plays as hard as he can. Um, his effort, you ne can never question Mitch's effort. He's always going to give you everything he's got. So I think, uh, I mean, we can't thank him enough. He had a great game. He was able to, he was able to kind of disrupt things on their offensive end. He was able to switch out on some smaller guys and still stay in front of the ball. Just his versatility really helps us a lot. And um, I mean, we're really proud of the performance that he had tonight. And the last one for Drew, uh, Dave Matter. Dave Matter's done. All right. Drew, you're done. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Last up is going to be X.